If I want to improve my ankle dorsiflexion, which is this ability with my heel down to have my knee go forward over my toes, we think of that as being really useful, for example, in the bottom of the squat where my knees have to get forward for me to stay in balance over my foot. I need to spend a lot of time in that position of full ankle dorsiflexion with the knee bent forward over the toes. Patrick step, thank you Ben Patrick, the knees over toes guy for inventing this, is a way to repetitively load the ankle into end range dorsiflexion while keeping your heel on the ground. To do this exercise, I need some kind of banister or railing or chair that I can hold on to with my opposite upper extremity. You'll eventually be able to do it without holding on to anything, but start with something to hold on to. I want to do my inside foot, so I'm gonna do my right ankle with my right hand holding onto something. I'm gonna start standing up straight, and then what I want to do is reach my left heel as far forward as I can while bending my right knee. My left heel is gonna reach as far forward as I can, my right heel has to stay on the ground, and then I use my calf muscle to pull myself back up to extension. So I'm reaching forward as far as I can holding on with my opposite hand, and I'm keeping my right heel on the ground. I'm leaning back with my shoulders a little bit just to balance out the weight distribution on my foot and also load that movement into dorsiflexion a little more. I'm going as far as I can each time, working on trying to get my heel even farther forward and pressing back up. This is great after you've done a little bit of work on ankle flexibility, like the calf smash or working your ankle with the voodoo band to really make those gains stick by repetitively loading the soleus, which is one of the two calf muscles, in this end range dorsiflexion position and then having the strength to press back out of it. If you do this before you do squats, what you'll find is you'll have much better range of motion in the ankle and that bottom position will feel much more comfortable for you where you really need that full ankle range of motion. Patrick's steps are awesome. Put them into your routine. Leave a comment, let me know how it goes. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.